Hey there YouTube. I'm going to try my best to make this video. It's a 05 Ford Explorer. We've already replaced the left rear wheel bearing and strut assembly and we did the strut on the left side and then the hub assembly in the right front and so far every single thing's been just seized in there and fought us the whole way so thought I'd make a video of us trying to beat and pound this pressed in wheel bearing on the left rear here or right rear sorry and see how that goes most of my videos we end up getting pulled off of it and don't get to finish it or something goofy happens and I don't know if we're going to post any of those videos or not so we'll find out Let's see how it goes here today wish me luck Hopefully Cody will come over and help me out with a wheel bearing. pressed out and pressed back in but on the other side that we just did about a week ago it took all afternoon to do one side so I'm looking really forward to doing this there you can see we just replaced this 
shock assembly here, new spring. We were gonna do just the shock and then we got it in here and seen the spring was broke. Good old Iowa salt eats everything up. stuff apart so it should come apart pretty easy I hope we did all this and I thought my bearing was already here and it didn't show up yet everybody has their own way of doing stuff but like if we have to reuse like if we were just replacing the half shaft in this and not replacing the bearing I always just hand wrench these off or the axle nut off because they say the vibration and stuff they can cause the bearing to go bad and I've had so many bearings go bad over the years that, that it seems I don't take the chances anymore coming apart pretty easy so far because like I said last it was about a week ago we did the other side pressed the bearing or did the other side pressing wheel bearing So you get the shock bolt loose, lower control arm loose. And you see the, oh, we gotta take the sway bar link loose and then it'll let this arm drop down and then we can swing everything out of the way. And oops, sorry, shut the camera off there. fails everything goes wrong when you're on camera Place this inner tie rod on there, and to make it easier to work on, I'm gonna take the nut loose on that. I think it'd be easier to. I think normally I'd probably take the other side loose, but
normally nothing ever comes apart this easy. Pop that out and let her dangle. Oh, I lost a washer. Okay, we've got the lower control arm bolt loose, the shock bolt loose, the tire rod. I'm just letting her dangle there. And no, it's not going to hurt that, letting her dangle like that. And, we got, and then I took the sway bar loose. And it should let us pry it down. There, I got the half shaft pulled out over here. So, and I think what I'm going to do to make life a little easier is pop the whole half shaft out of there because I've actually got to replace the axle seal on this one today, also. So, we'll just remove that and we'll get the tools to do this pressing wheel bearing. You can even hear how nice that one is. Remove the half shaft and the parking brake shoes, and we've got the hub grappler tool on there. Now we can beat the heck out of it, see if it'll come apart. Up a little bit. Some cherry flavored spray on it. Watch me struggle a little bit. Thank you. 
screwdrivers in the world with like little tiny pry bars. I think I might have put it away. Okay, it's in the back Second drawer down. this on camera. We're going to pull this stand back and it'll probably pop right back into the groove. Like, bang! in there. I have to spray some more stuff and beat her around a little bit. Okay, we sprayed her down, beat it around a little more. I seen it move. So it better come out of there without breaking. I don't have, I forgot to hold her spare. I might have pinched it, nicked it a little bit. I might have to take a little dagger in there or something and try to clean that groove out. Be an hour? 
I don't know. I've never done one of those. I'll kind of give her a rough one then. Does it say on the pro-demand or anything? No. It's a rare part to replace so they don't have a specific part to put this in. Oh, uh, labor. Labor. All right, so I'll just give, tell her a rough one then. So that All way right. give or take. Guestimate. Always just make a copy of my book so I don't get it all greasy and ruin it. And then we got to go through this kit and find the right parts. I know we got it all set up to push it out. I even noticed the inner race didn't even stick on here. So that'll save us some time.
Belgian. found a screwdriver in the street if anybody's missing one. Drew doesn't want it because it hurts his hand. Swing this thing right. Like I want it to. Did on the last side. Ladies love blue. What are you doing? I can swing the hammer if you want. I'm gonna put the lower bolt back in so it's not flopping around. I'm gonna put the lower control arm back in so it still moves a little bit. It won't go in and out.
moving now, so we got to recheck to make sure it's the bearings going into the center of that receiving cup because I know on the, when I did the other side, it just barely fits in there. Scraper out good. Everybody loves to listen to that noise. What you doing? Smile. Look what somebody gave us today. It's a zombie target. It was defective. He looked like he was getting cold, so we put a hat on him. See you, Josie. Oh, bye. We'll spray a little bit of lube on it, so hopefully it'll help slide in. Anything's gonna come out of the can. Come on, baby. A little bit more. I think she's a gunner. Need more muscle grease. 
Okay, we got it all set up. Let's see what what we got there. Get to put a snap ring in. I took and clean it all up already. Doing, Connor. Can I bring this guy too? Now we're going to push the hub back in. some more grease on it to hopefully keep it from corroding and if we do ever have to tear it apart again hopefully it'll come apart easier. All I have to do is just reassemble the everything. Hopefully everything else should go easy from here. Almost forgot we've got to replace an axle seal on this yet too. You can see where it's leaking up. Already got it out of the box here. What I did is before I started tearing it apart. Let's see. Before I pop the old seal out, I had to check and make sure that it slides on there and it's the correct seal, which it feels like it's the right one. We'll get all the stuff set up and see if we can video us replacing that seal. I'm going to start put a rig in there so we don't 
beat any dirt into the differential. I know the owner of this, they won't care. <laughs> the gears will grind up the dirt. Yeah. Steel's stronger than metal, or steel's stronger than dirt. careful because there's a little bearing in, right inside there. You don't want to accidentally hook that and mess it up. This is our seal driving apparatus. I got my seal driver on a socket on extension. I'm going to stand over in the other stall while Drew holds it in place and I'll tap it in. Yep, keep going. Right. Love. Sweet. Here, we'll see if Drew will drive off the end of that trailer. Looks pretty short. I think he's nervous on camera. We'll go outside so you can hear it. Floor it! Just like the RC car! That's what I told Now that we got the shaft all cleaned up on the end here, I'm going to spray a little bit of lube on it and then put it back in the differential. We already took the rigs out of the rear end. Check it. Okay, the shaft slid all the way in. Oh, 
not much that would be a better angle to see. can actually reattach the shock and the lower control arm. Had to close the doors and Nice and sunny out earlier. That almost feels like it could rain. It's getting cold. Move. So you can see that. I bought a little yesterday I bought a little hair dryer that looks like the snap on impact gun for my wife and then I must have jinxed myself because you were supposed to or buy the impact and get the hair dryer for free but I don't want to spend 600 bucks for a new impact when the rest of mine work fine but now I might end up having to buy a new impact. suspension to road height.
Now we've got to put that tie rod back in where it belongs. I have to lift this up, get my screw jack out of the way. Well, we end up making this a two-day ordeal, so I came up on Saturday so we could finish this job. We're just about done with it. We got to put the brakes on, torque the axle, clean up the rear diff where the all that grease leaked out on, and then double check the rear diff fluid. Spray some fluid film on the hub face there. Put one of those nuts on to help hold that all in place. Already cleaned up and greased once, but working on it. End up wiping off all the grease, so I'll put some more on it. Keep it from rusting underneath the hardware. If you can see on these brake shoes, I'll try to zoom in. On one end of it, it's got like a square notch, and then the other end just has, you can see it with the, it's better without the rig, you can see where it doesn't have that square notch, so you gotta slide the square notched end in. First, back it up here. Put that end in first. Get off the back of your pins and stuff. And just like that. May 12th and I think it's like 50 degrees outside and rainy so no nothing better to do around here so I might as well go to work and make some money
see the axle nut. These I do hand wrench on. I've had such bad luck with wheel bearings, warrantying them and stuff. We used to run them in and out with impacts and Just do it gently and then hand torque them in. It'd still end up lasting three or four months on the wheel bearing, so now I don't even take any chances. We just hand wrench it on and torque it to the specs. It's not worth having it come back in and do it again. So it's a new here. Usually what I'd do if it was a vented rotor, I'd just stick a punch or small pry bar in the vented parts or in the pins and then just torque it down. But in this style I just stick a whoops. Set my torque here. This one's 203 foot pounds. I just stick a pry bar between the studs to hold it still. Let's see, I think all we've got, oh, we've got a run in there. As you can see it. The sway bar link, I had to take that loose to be able to drop the control arm down. I think all we have left to do is clean up the rear diff, make sure it's full of fluid. Here's what it looks like after I did a little bit of cleaning. I just spray some degreaser all over it and then take a little brush and brush it and then rinse it off with the garden hose. So that, that way at least it doesn't look like it's still leaking when you're done. And then you can't even see 
That's the bad part about pressing wheel bearings. You can't even see any new parts when you're done because they're buried inside. But this one we've replaced the rear shocks and spring assemblies, rear brakes and rotors, wheel bearings, and this one inner tie rod there. And then we also put new tires on it and a right front hub assembly. I'm sorry I didn't get a, get a video at all. We're always really busy here and it's really tough for me to make videos. A lot of times I have to wait and do it after hours around the weekends and stuff. So hopefully they might, they're getting better. I've got a bunch that I've been going through and trying to edit but they none of them ever finish or anything. I end up getting busy or pulled off and don't have time to finish the video. I don't know if people would still be interested on videos where you know it could be just a disassembled video if people want to watch stuff like that you guys can let me know and comment or suggestions or anything to help make my videos better like I said I'm just starting these so I'm just new at this but I've been a mechanic for over 20 years so I got plenty of experience on doing that so otherwise if you have any questions car questions you can comment on there too and I'll try to answer you thank you for watching the video and have a nice day